I'm going to my woman in here, everybody. Debbie Thomas here from Wiper Work. So, yes, uh, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, I'm not sure what to do. Do them every day or every second day. But anyway, I'm going to do day four and five today because of the advent calendar leading up to the solstice because I was a slack boom. Well, it wasn't really. I was flat out yesterday. Um, and I missed day four, which was uh, sustainability. Um, and looking at better choices that we make, you know, one of the things that we yarn about in my upper is the concept of when you consume something is do you need it or do you want it? And if you want it, why do you want it? And that whole process of, you know, is it sustainable? Who made it? Where's supply chain? Yes, there's work involved. There is a lot of work involved in a lot of things. But it is about thinking about that whole wants and needs. And I used to be terrible at that. Um, grew up with not a lot. So when I got a bit of bachelor, I got a bit of money. I um, went mindlessly just spending. I have the story I tell all the time um, about, you know, hitting sort of 17, 18. And every bit of money I went, went on fashion, you know, went on chains and necklaces and sunglasses and uh, Versace possum piss perfumes and all that stuff. And hey, that's, you know, no judgment. Um, the reasons why I did that was because I always felt lack of was because of um, I never had deadly clothes and it's, it's good to have nice clothes and feel good yes absolutely um, the energy of that's good but who was making those clothes did I need all of those clothes so it's about putting yourself through those those hoops and those um, I guess conversations and you know, and I think I spoke about it uh, in earlier videos about consumerism and, you know, the needs and wants and, you know, gift giving uh, from presence perspective. You know, just going through that now. I've got some groceries before and it was good. The, the section had some lots of great organic choices from a vegetable perspective, like you have to be able to f afford to purchase those. Um, the good thing about it, I didn't have to buy any herbs. We've got a beautiful herb garden here. So, so I saved a little bit of coin on the herbs and um, packaging and things like that. So again, little one percenters. But it's about knowing the sources of where you're getting your stuff from. And it's really hard sometimes because you've got to Google it. There's a lot of websites out there that'll do it on your behalf. Um, One Million Women are uh, a great resource to, to check out sustainability uh, and lifestyle choices. Uh, Biomi is another great website that Alana put up. You know, and uh, from a clothes perspective, we always talk about um, Good On You. There's an app that actually tells you which designer clothes is actually better for the environment. So make those choices, you know. I haven't bought up, I'm proud to say that I didn't, haven't needed any clothes for the last probably 18 months. I can't even remember the last time I bought a, an item of clothing, probably even longer actually. Um, I'm probably due for a new pair of shoes. Um, as an example, you know, seven, six years ago, I bought a pair of sketches and then I looked them up on Good On You and they're not good for the environment. So I wore them literally until the feet fell out of them. And um, so now I'm looking around, I'm jumping on internet, one of the most powerful resources out there and trying to source uh, more ethical, um, comfortable shoes. So, you know, again, it's about the choices that you make. No judgment, just do something. The other thing, day five today talks about sit spots. Now, ideally your sit spot would be out in nature, ideally. Obviously COVID this year has played a massive part of not being able to do that. But even in the one hour getting out, people were finding spots in nature, even in the city, in the parks, under trees, you know, down by the creeks, there's always a buffer there. They're around you. They literally are around you. And But even if you can't get out, if you're uh, bedridden or not well, or you might be, um, might be incarcerated, you know, um, you're finding a space that you can sit, potentially see the sky or look out the window or even using visualization. And, you know, if you can join both a personal experience that you've had out in the environment, out on, on nature, Mother Earth, if you can combine that with a visualization, connect in, sit down somewhere and just energetically connect to that space. So that's one of the things that we use in WAPA is that meditative connectivity to the environment. So even when I'm sitting here, I've got a little, little green room here full of um, plants and a little waterfall air and some uh, aromatherapy and things like that. Put on some eucalyptus smells, um, put the waterfall on, oxygen from the, 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 the leaves here, 
jump in the chair and shut my eyes and boom, I'm, I'm off, I'm gone. I'm on my sit spot out on country, out on, on Mother Earth, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm connecting in. And the benefits I get, eh? They're proper good ones. Proper deadly, love it, feel strong. Like Warrior, that's an Orbit reference, if you know who he is. Anyway, I watch too many movies, I don't know how I fit all this in. But, so yes, do that. Um, I've got some, um, I learned something new this morning. I love learning something new about the sun and the moon. Um, and um, I'll share that in a later vlog. But this is about the 21 day, well, it actually is a bit about the solstice. I'm not sure, I can't check the calendar out. I might yarn about it in the coming days uh, where possible. But if you haven't already done it, jump on board the 21 day uh, summer solstice crescendo advent calendar that Alana and a great team, Jam Trace and some other designers. Sorry, I'm bad with names, guys. My memory's like a sieve. Um, and they've put together to connect us to that, that cycle of uh, the solstice. So I'll leave it short and sweet today. And thanks everyone who is jumping on. I think there's about four people who have seen this on YouTube. Woo! Um, so yeah, jump aboard, check it out, shoot us a message or um, uh, yeah, a, um, a comment just if you're doing it or how you're feeling with it. I'm feeling deadly and I'll catch you hopefully tomorrow. I should do it tomorrow, Sunday. I should be able to do day six. So I'll say Yadabi and we'll look for now. Out.